Let's bring the drone back to the plane. Looks like it's dragging its butt on the ground somewhere. Welcome back, Tony is here. Today I'm flying from Detroit Airport to Fort Wayne Airport in Indiana. I'm flying a Beechcraft 350 King Air. I'll be flying at a flight level of 3,500 feet. And let's go ahead and get started. So I'll set that flight level now to 3,500. Take off the parking brake and let's get going. Get some altitude. KH four three nine or continue for west departure. I will contact you next when you leave my airspace. Land the gear up. Tower KH four three nine or continue for west departure. And flaps up. All right, and I will steer us in the direction of our heading. All right, that's approximately right. I'm going to level off a little bit and switch on autopilot and we're going to want navigation and altitude and hands off the stick let it take over KH439 are you are leaving my airspace frequency change approved also we want the yaw damper Detroit Metro Tower KH439 frequency change Detroit Metro approach KH439 is type Beechcraft King Air 4 miles southwest of Detroit Metro 3100 feet Request clearance to transition Bravo airspace. KH 439er Detroit Metro approach. Squawk 6116. Squawk 6116 KH 439er. I read the rules KH about going through a Bravo airspace and watched a video, but to be honest, I don't actually remember. I'm not going to worry about it. Let's go ahead and go outside. Cleared through the Bravo airspace KH 439er. Looks like a beautiful day in the Detroit area. Let's look around a little bit. Boy, sure is a nice clear day. It's kind of funny because I ran the game earlier and I was about to take off, but I had some hardware problems. My uh, Logitech switch box didn't work. But it was dark and raining and cold, and so I restarted the computer, restarted the game, and it was a bright sunny day. I checked the settings, they're set to live weather, so I don't, don't know what happened there. I don't think the weather could have changed that quickly. Very flat at this area. Downtown Acres sounds like a farm or something, landing strip. Might as well take the drone over there and give it a give it a look. Okay, so I want. 
Um, stay locked to the plane. It's just a little easier to deal with sometimes. Yeah, that's where I wanted to go. Downwind anchors. Okay, you're getting some lag there, but that's typical. Starting to hear uh, wildlife in the background. Thought I saw animals, but I think it was just a road or a house over here. Yeah, just a house. Okay, here's downwind anchors. And so, yeah, looks like it's just a landing strip. Nothing wrong with that. Decimal Niner 5 for KH 439er. Detroit approach KH 439er 3500 feet. Kind of interested by all this stuff. KH 439er Detroit approach continuous planned. Altimeter 2 Niner Decimal Niner 2. Looks like some kind of a business complex or something. Like another landing strip over there, or uh, a real airport. Let's check on the plane for a moment. Alright, that all looked good.
All right, let's go back to the plane. Copy, KH439. Have to give all those textures time to reload. back inside. Just hang out in here for a minute. Looks like the weather's getting a little bit worse as we go forward. It's kind of sunny behind us and hazy ahead. It's 55 out. That's not bad. I'm actually going to turn off the de-icing pedo heat. I guess it wants the pedo heat on. Okay. Well, that's good to know. feeling a little cooped up inside, so I want to go back out and look around a little bit. Plane. Looks like it's dragging its butt on the ground somewhere. <laughs> That's pretty funny.
I'm from the drone trying to see if I could find the airplane. I think I'm just about back. Wow. That was a cool shot. Switch back to the regular external view. like this livery. I just had to completely reinstall the game, but I managed to get all the liveries back I had. Maybe not one of my favorites, but I like the, I like the way it looks. I went to start up the game yesterday to go flying, and it wouldn't start. And I've had this problem before, and I ended up uninstalling it and reinstalling it from scratch. I lost all my saved flight plans, but not a big deal. Those can easily be recreated. Um, it is a pain, though. They need to figure out a better way. If the game starts up and then hangs, it would be nice if it would tell you why. I couldn't find any information about why, and this is probably the fourth time I've done a complete wipe and reinstallation to get functionality back. Also had to reinstall the Logitech driver for my switch panel, but everything worked once I got it all back together. See another little airport here. I don't, I don't see any markings. It might be too small. Could go take a look at it with the drone. Ah, oh, there we go. Williams County Airport. As expected, of course, this area is all farmland. It's just exactly what you would expect. Michigan, Indiana area. I've been to Michigan. I don't think I've been to Indiana. Looks like some writing in the field here. Or maybe that's just some parked cars or houses or something.
game, game has definitely gotten more interesting after turning on the photogrammetry data in 4K. It's looking very stale for a long time. And it seemed like I didn't have the option to turn it on in 4K. I contemplated going back to full high def just to get the photogrammetry details back. But anyway, I'm glad I didn't. I like the detail you get with 4K better. You don't need to run the game on Ultra in 4K to get it to look good either, because uh, a lot of the missing details are going to be below your perception. Limit. That's my sense, anyway. So i basically got everything right now running on high with maybe a couple of tweaks. There's an Ultra Light, and now I wish I could remember the name. It's in the marketplace. It's $9.99. I think I might buy it. It's all open cockpit, so it's going to be very loud and flying, but it should be a lot of fun. Uh, probably very low speed takeoffs and landings. Uh, minimal instrumentation, if any. So, might buy it, might wait for it to go on sale, we'll see. But I think that would be a lot of fun to try. If I buy it, I'll definitely post a tryout video. Okay, so it's now time to start slowing down. I'm going to be heading into landing soon. Start dropping the throttle. I do also want to come down in altitude a bit. set a new target. I don't think autopilot is going to acknowledge that though unless I turn that. Yeah, there we go. Now it's acknowledged. Throttle, trying to get our speed down below 200. Prefer to get it more towards 150. start to drop airspeed quicker once we level off at 2800. Uh, I'm going to continue to drop throttle some more. Try to burn off this momentum. Take over for autopilot. up just a little bit, see if I can get the speed down. I wouldn't mind putting the flaps down part way. Now 
have to push hard on the stick when you do that. Okay, so now we're down in a much better speed range. I think I'll stay around here, give it a little bit more throttle for now. And get a little closer to the airport. some altitude. I do need to lose that altitude. I'm going to drop throttle again. Landing here. I did that when I hit the bottom of the play on the throttle. I'll put the landing gear down when I get a little closer. Okay, we do still need to nose down. I just want to keep it within the allowable speed for flaps. Okay, so we are losing altitude slowly, that's good. I am keeping it under about 150, 55, Bottle was at the halfway point. I'm gonna Request drop it down to about 45 to Charlie airspace.
Tower KH 439er is 11 one miles northeast with echo to land. KH 439er tower. Make straight in runway 23. Altimeter 29er decimal 9er to wind 231 at 5. Make straight in runway 23 KH 439er. Alright, we're set to land. Just a little bit more throttle. We're dropping speed a bit more than I would like right now. Partially because I'm nosing up towards the pattern entrance. Going to head over to the right side. Okay, I'm going to drop throttle down now to about maybe 33%. I think this angle down should keep our speed up enough. I'll adjust if not. Okay, so we do need to slow down, pull back on the throttle a bit more, maybe we're down to 25%. Watched a video on using ILS, I need to watch it and one or two more and get a good idea of how to use that. Clear to land runway 23 KH 439er. Um, I think there's a particular Garmin display dedicated to that, and then it gives you indicators about where you are within kind of a three-dimensional tube on your way down, so that can be very handy. Basically be the equivalent of these brackets. Pull back on the throttle just a bit more. Speed seems to be okay. We're a little on the high side anyway. I do need to Bring it down. It's going to make us go a little bit too fast. Let's pull the throttle back some more. Maybe 15%. I just dropped it a tad more. I think we're doing okay. Just keep an eye on that speed, make sure it doesn't start going down too fast. Um, I would expect some bumpiness maybe as we get closer to the ground. Don't feel like I've heard the 500 yet, but maybe I missed it. Okay, we're dropping a little bit too fast. I'm going to give it some throttle. Nose up just a tad. There's the 500. Okay, throttle back down all the way. Let's see what we can do now to dial that in just right. I have to remember that I lose authority over the controls at such a low speed, so I have to be really careful. Don't want to land too prematurely here. A little 
thrust. Alright, and let's try to hover if I can. And let's gently set those rear wheels down. And brake, and then the front wheels. And brake. And let's turn and put the flaps up at the same time. Okay, is this the taxiway I turned here? This looks like a runway. Alright, let's see if I can figure out where the taxi ribbon is. Ah, there it is. Okay, so I'll just turn to the right. Pivot braking, I think I can. No, I'm gonna hit that thing. Alright, so we'll just go through the grass. A little uncouth, but it's a game. It's not real life. Going a bit fast, let's slow this down. I didn't see anybody over there, so I think we're okay. Alright, this is the taxiway I was supposed to stop at, obviously. Alright, so get those brakes in place, and I had a little bit too much throttle going, but we're okay now. Looks like that Italian jet fighter parked over there. Maybe it's just a paint job. But it does look like it's a jet fighter, doesn't it? I haven't flown that thing in a while, I need to play with that again. Okay, why is there something in the way? So, I'm going to... Uh, is he going to just run into me, or... What? Um, not like I'm really able to... I guess I could back up. Not the way. Okay. I know there's a way to get um, reverse thrust. I did it before. That might be it. Yes. Okay. That's working. What is this? This guy is just dogging me. This is crazy. Alright, um... Let's try more reverse thrust. I can't touch my own throttle, so I can't really control it. All I can do is control the, uh... Control the rudder and the brakes. back into reverse thrust mode. Let's see. It's just, it's weird how these things are dogging me over here. Where they, they could go. Uh, 
Okay, there we go. That's ridiculous. I don't understand... I mean, I can understand people being on the taxiway with equipment, but... Uh, a, they're not acting normally, and B, the tower's not saying anything about it. I feel like I failed to contact ground unless the pilot took care of I mean the co-pilot took care of that. Ground KH four three nine request taxi to park. Okay, that should make it official. KH four three nine taxi to general aviation parking by taxiway. Taxiing to General Aviation Parking using Taxiway KH 439er. Yet another forklift in the way, which just certainly seems stupid. situation but whatever at least we're parked shut the engines off yeah that is one of those Italian jet fighters I do own that that's cute that it would be parked there it's a good reminder that I need to fly mine some more You gotta be able to get out of the airplane and then go s jack one of these others and take off in it. I wonder if that's possible. Alright, turn everything off. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.